Uh, but do you know that uh, Johnny Knoxville is being sued? By Perry, was it Caravello? That's correct. Yes, the Windy City Heat, quote-unquote, star. Yes. <laughs> Who, uh, yeah. Who I do, I have to agree with the assessment that he probably is slightly in the head. I can tell you he is. Oh, that's right. Uh, you, you've met him. What? You've met him, haven't you? No, but our our director for Solve the Mole Men knows him. And was in that movie. Here, Here's how stupid Perry Caravello is. Perry Caravello was in that movie and was friends with the director, Tom Stern, who also did, he directed the movie Freaked with uh, Alex Winter. And uh, 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 Randy Quaid. Yeah, and on a show with Alex Winter on MTV. He's in all that circle of friends. Jimmy Kimmel, all those guys. They're all like, you that know, they circle all know of each Al- other. That Alex Winter posse. That's right, right. The Alex Winter posse. The A.W. posse. The house. To Alwyn. Uh, he said, now, you know, Tom is in that movie, Windy City Heat. He plays uh, the, the Eastern European porno producer who they then bring in to fund the movie. You remember that guy? Right. Yuri or whatever his name was. That's him. Now, Perry knows him and has known him, you know, for years. And he was, like, dressed up and he and Perry, like, didn't realize that it was him. That's how stupid this guy is. She- also, he thinks, what the hell's the other guy's name? The guy with the red hair. Who's always just, like, a super asshole with him. I don't know, there were so many people who were assholes to him in that. You're going to have to narrow it down. No, the, you know, there was like the two main guys. Well, you also had what? what was it Bobcat was directing? Yeah, but, but no, no, no. I'm talking about the movie itself. I, I've I'm been, trying to, I'm trying to whittle so down many, the circle. You're making it bigger. It's been so many years since I've seen it. I honestly... There were two guys. There were like the two main guys. You know, there was the guy who was like always being a fuck up and he would scream at him. Like the other guy acted... Semi-retarded, but he was not in real life. He wore that horrible red wig. No. I'd have to see it again. No. 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 Enough of this shit. So what's your point? The bottom line is... Well, my real point is that that guy's not actually retarded, and Perry thinks he is. So so in other words, it's just you're just further illuminating the fact that Perry is not right. Correct. He, he he literally is there's something wrong with him. Uh, but before I forget, you should uh, you should tell everyone what Windy City Heat is because I'm sure there's people who don't know. But if they don't know what it is, they really should. It's available on DVD. Yes, uh, really should get it because it is it is essentially absolutely incredible. One of the most elaborate practical jokes you could ever play on someone that you've, yeah. you say is your friend. Whereby they convince uh, this gentleman, uh, Perry Caravello, that he has what won a competition that has made them the star of a major. Oh, no, yeah, audition for it. Oh, that's oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, he has he has an audition opposite uh, uh, Carson Daly. He auditions. And he gets the part over Carson Daly. For this now to look at this guy though, he's like you know he's sort of he's sort of a Larry Fine type. Yeah, like a Larry Fine but and like, like an Italian like a fat Larry Italian, Italian guy. More like an like an Italian Larry Fine. But like he always wears a hip, a fanny pack. A, sort of, isn't like a, a sort of '80s leather jacket, not even leather, like a vinyl yeah. jacket or something. Yeah. It, it, yeah, and and so he thinks he's cast in like this humongous movie as the lead. So he will do whatever they tell him. And this is someone who's... These guys have been playing jokes on him for years and years and years. Ah, uh, but they, like... So they're acting... They, like, actually rent a Hollywood movie studio. They have a crew. They're getting him to do these things, you know, like, in the movie. He's supposed to put all this disgusting food into a blender and mix it. 
and then he has to drink the whole thing on camera. They have him do like that like five times or something. Another thing they do at one point is, you know, he's about to do something. And they, he has to like, I don't know, he has to like jump into a dumpster or something. And they say like, well, you could have the, would you rather have the stuntman do it? Would you like us to use a stuntman for you? And he's like, oh, oh yeah, I'd like to do that. Yeah, that's great. So they say, okay. Then they go the next day. He's filming his love scene with like, you know, this super hot woman. And right before they get like naked and where they're supposed to like be rolling around and stuff, they they cut, bring him out and bring in the stuntman again. And then they have him go in the back room and then like afterwards, you know, his two buddies come in there and they're like, oh my God, I can't fucking believe it. They were actually having sex. And he's like, what are you talking about? How can I, I should be in there? Yeah, and he, then t- he goes he talks back exactly and tells like the that. guy like, because he's also like, yeah, he just, then he goes back in and he's like, oh, I, I don't want to use this stuntman anymore. And they're like, okay, fine. And then, of course, the next thing they have him do is, like, basically they're just beating the shit out of him or something. I mean, he's, it's great. He's quite... He's our, our friend, uh, my, I showed my friend a little bit of it. Uh, John from Aqua Teen Central. When he came to the New York Con, we, we went over to my uh, my apartment and showed him some, him and his buddy. Because I it was the first time I saw it. I saw him there, we were talking, I was like... You gotta come over and watch this. It, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite elaborate. But it is kind of like... It's amazing. It is kind of like... And this. it's on DVD, like, I can't say enough, just watch it, because... It really is the cousin But what you need to, to realize is, everything seems super fake, but what you, what you need to know is that he is the real deal. There is nothing, there is nothing fake about him. He is actually that way. And he believes all of this wholeheartedly. 